So many times I think what we think is it's the easy part is getting somebody into a program to start the rehabilitation of somebody who's been human trafficked. But when they walk through the doors of the Dream Center, that's when the hard work starts. We have an amazing family model, and that's ultimately what a survivor needs. They need that love. They need to know that they can trust us and that we can walk alongside them in their journey to address their mental health and their health and just to have that feeling of love again. Walking through the doors and being able to greet a bunch of strangers and feel comfortable enough to talk about the trauma that you've been through is a really difficult process. Um, the trauma bonds that our uh, survivors experience and in, in the thinking that they still love the person that is out there that hurt them so badly is one of the greatest challenges that I've found so far. My favorite part in a survivor's journey is watching that light turn on where they really start to believe in themselves and they really start to fight for their dreams. Um, it's the most incredible feeling in the world when they finally get over that hump of those trauma bonds and they finally choose themselves first. I myself, as a survivor, never imagined even being in the work of walking alongside other survivors. Being here tonight is so incredible. And standing in a room full of powerful people who um, I know stood up for me once when I had no voice, um, and now I get to stand for others who don't have a voice is really, really amazing. It's an absolute honor for me as well. Um, I think there's no better person to be in the fight than a survivor, a survivor in leadership that can go and can relate to the, the person that they once were. So um, I'm ecstatic to be here tonight. It's, it's a huge honor. You would never think that we would be able to be in an event like this and to be able to, to give back and to see what's happening. Yeah.